What's up guys, Ryan here. Today I wanted to show you what to do when Printful sends you an email that looks like the one I've got in my screen right here, where they tell you that they're discontinuing a product. Now, if you are one of my favorite types of people, the type of person that takes action and is already selling through Printful, whether it's on Amazon, Etsy, the new Wish integration, uh, Shopify, eBay, there's so many opportunities. If you're one of those people, you have probably seen this email. Uh, this one just went out today on July 3rd. So if you, I don't know if they send it to everybody regardless of if you're actually selling this product or not, but either way, I'm definitely selling it. So I love to sell my Printful hats and I received an email that the orange blue Yupong wool blend snapback, it was basically New York, New York Knicks colors, pretty ugly. I'm, I'm not from New York, so I would never buy it. Uh, it is now discontinued. So what do you do? You didn't make sure that you don't sell one, which by the way, I have sold hats that were discontinued on Amazon. On Amazon, you do not want to mess around with canceling orders. So this is something that has to be taken seriously, especially on Amazon guys. Uh, this is how you handle when you get this. So first things first, and I'm going to be working with uh, screenshots by the way. So let me pull up the next screenshot. So first thing is first on Amazon, you're going to want to go into seller central and then go to your inventory tab and click manage inventory. When you get there, what you're going to want to do is in the search bar here, type in some identifying keywords. Now you'll notice I typed in Navy slash red, even though in the email, it says it's the Royal slash orange. I didn't take the screenshot before I actually deleted all of the variants. So what I'm showing you right here is what I should have searched for in theory was, uh, royal slash orange and all the search results would have been that variation of that hat i have already deleted them though so for the sake of this video i used navy and red as an example to show you that it actually works and yes i went in and blurred them to keep my uh, designs secret but besides that you can see that it works if you're selling on uh etsy the easiest way to do this now etsy is not going to be as easy because it will not list the variation of the product listing the way amazon does so you're going to have to, well, you're going to have to go into all your listings and delete it, but it might not be that difficult if you are organized. The easiest way to organize your listings on Etsy is to use sections. If you guys aren't using Etsy sections, you need to start like immediately because with by, by using sections, guys, you can do things like bulk edit a bunch of different attributes of the listings. A big one that you might want to edit is price in case you want to offer like a 30% off discount, but then offset that by increasing the price by 30%, things like that. Um, not all products, like you basically want to group them by base cost. So you can, and the sections are visible to the end users. So you don't want to name it like $25 base cost items. You want to call it like what, what it is, but you know the base cost. So this is an example of what um, my sections look like right now. And uh, it's working for me so far. So if you need any ideas to get you started on making Etsy sections, this is a good place to start. And last but not least, guys. Oh, yeah. And then when you sort by section, sorry, I forgot to mention. When you sort by section on Etsy, when you go to your product listings page in the right hand side, there is the sections drop down. So just change that to whatever you call your section for snapback hats. So remember, in this example that we're looking at, it's a snapback hat variation that's being discontinued. So you can see here, I have a hats parentheses snapback. I would click that. It's going to show me all my snapback hats. Um, not all of them have this variation. So I'd go looking for the one that has this variation or however many. Edit them and delete this uh, variant. So Etsy's not as strict about canceling orders. It's really Amazon. So you want to make sure you don't mess up. All right, and then last but not least, uh, I just went ahead and tested this out in Shopify and it does in fact work. You can take royal slash orange straight out of the email that Printful sent us. Just copy that because that represents the, the variation. That's the identifier of the variation. So this product specifically, they have uh, something like 20 or maybe 19 now, but I think it was 20 different variations of the same Yupong Woblin snapback hat. So... Yeah, I guess it's 19 now. Um, this one must not have been selling that well. So when you search it, the listing shows up in search results. The variation does not show up in search results. That's the distinction here. On Amazon, 
the variation itself that has a unique ASIN, this is just how Amazon's catalog structured, shows up in search results. So all you have to do is hit that checkbox right next to status to select all. And then after you do that, you'll see this uh, action on zero selected button will become active. Click that and then click delete. And then it'll say, do you really want to delete? Hit yes. With Shopify, slightly different. Um, you'll notice that the thumbnail, even though I blurred it out, it doesn't show the actual colored thumbnail. So you have to, that's indicating, hey, it's not showing the variation. It's showing the whole listing. Click into the listing, scroll down, and you'll see all the variants listed. All you have to do is check the box next to the variant and then click the trash can icon and you're done. So that is how you can clean up your discontinued products from your store, your catalogs, wherever you're selling. Go ahead and delete them when you get this email because you don't want to have to refund a customer because you sold them a product that you can't fulfill. That is never good when you're running an e-commerce business. Take it from me. I've been there. I only had to do I only had to be there once to realize, oh crap, I need to be more proactive about this. So pretend that that was you and learn from my mistake. Don't don't go find out the hard way. And guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. Any questions, comments, or feedback, hit me up below or on my Facebook group. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. I'll see you at the next one.